He embezzled it. And this and wonderful he, trustee's name is? Michael Grassmuck. Oh, the same Grassmuck that... Same one. Yep. Gee, and he's he not a twin. Up. He's not a twin. No twins. No twin. Not a nephew, not a son. No. Not an uncle. No, the same the one. real McCoy. And so what would, they, what would Henry Grassmuck say if I walked up to him and, and said, oh, excuse I, me, Mr. Grassmuck, but did you embezzle from Miriam Krause? I don't think he'll ever admit what he's done because he's done... These trustees are doing, doing so much stuff to everybody that files a bankruptcy. It is like a den of thieves. You've got the court documents right here. He's part of the problem. His name is in one of these documents. He's not going to be the solution. He's been a for 18 years. 18 years. So he's got a little pony thing going on with one of the judges. No, I don't think that. I just... I, I don't I mean just, physically, I call him but a I mean... Criminal. He's, he's a criminal, oh, and so he's the, getting the, away the with it. The criminals work together. He's, the criminal oh, bankruptcy absolutely. judge works with the criminal. It's not that they're sexually involved. Right. And it's just that we're criminally involved. Right, right. And we're they're all decent involved. criminals. And right. where we could legally steal from people because, hey, that's what we do. Well, there's no such thing as legally stealing. Apparently there it's is. It's called, it's <laughs> called um, under the color of law. Under color of law. Right. You know, I had the a judge here in this, in, this, in this city right here. We're in, by the way, we're not doing this show in Portland, people. This show is being done in the city where the Michael Jackson Inquisition took place. And where every Monday from 5 to 6 at Better Avian Miller, there's a bunch of old people, including people in wheelchairs, protesting against Obama's death care. Better Ravia and Miller, Monday, 5 to 6. I was there. They were there. 30, 40 of them, maybe 50 of them. It's real. It's happening. People are so angry. When you see people in wheelchairs out on the corner, it's time to take stock of your government and maybe just wipe them all out, start over, elect all new people. Because what we've got going on is, is just it's abominable. Evil. It's evil. And what you're hearing from Marion Kraus, Ultra who, evil. who came, what was it, a nice, pleasant three hour drive from Portland down to no, Santa Barbara County? More like 15. 15 hours. More you like were really. 20. 20 by the time you count the <laughs> hours I drove to pick her up. Yeah, yes. well, a 20 hour drive to get down here to be on. Uh, thank you for coming to the show. You're welcome. It's my really pleasure. Do. I'll do anything to expose these crooks, even crawl, crawl through barbed wire, but and I hope I don't of, have to do that. You're kind of a raging grandmother, aren't you? <laughs> you have a reason to be outraged, don't I you? think it's awful that I worked 43 years and they stole everything, everything I earned and put together and created in 43 days, and that's basically what they did. And then they held the bankruptcy open for almost three years so and, and kept documents out. So I didn't, and they did mail fraud. The first one, mail fraud done by the trustee the six days but after that, I it's filed. It's documented right of here. Of course. You've got the. This is an education. This, you, send money. This is you an send education. money. <laughs> well, by the way, do you want people to call you? I would love them to if call me. If there's some me. grandmothers out there, your, your phone number. Anyone numbers, who it, owns real estate is in trouble. <laughs> yeah, if you own real estate and you want to get a hold of Marion Krause and tell her how they've embezzled from you, you want to call, can I give out the number? Please. Area code 503 515 9587. That's Miriam Krause. Right. Say, say the number again 503 515 9587. There you go, people. Give right. Mary McCall right. if you've been embezzled, because what we need is a RICO action. I don't know why you can't just take one of these books done to the U.S. Attorney General's office and say, here's all the evidence you need. Start it's, the indictment. We've it's given been them there two of twice. Those. And they've done what? Zero. Zero. Which Zero. tells you our system is broke, isn't it? Mr. John Kroger wrote a book called Convictions. He was a new, new, he's in, your new attorney he was general. in New York. He was in New York when he wrote the book. Right. And he is now our new attorney general. He has the information. He did have a meeting with 30 of us that have been uh, basically destroyed by crooked attorneys. And uh, he had a meeting with us and he has the information. And we're waiting for some results. And we're not going to wait long either. We want results. You know, I called his chief assistant. Unger. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ben Unger. Yes, the dear beloved Mr. Ben Unger. Who Wonderful. can be seen in that videotape, which we're not going to show today because we want to get Gwen Wood on. She apparently had some experience in the legal field for a few months or maybe a few decades. We'll see what Gwen can add to this. But, uh, again, that phone number is area code 503-515-9587. Miriam Kraus. And I have 11 books. She has 11 books ready to come out. And when you read her first book, you'll understand why they would probably hire 
a down and out CIA murder operative to knock her off. Don't give me any ideas. Oh, I'm sure they've already <laughs> thought they've of it, three Delilah. Times. I'm sure they've already <laughs> thought of it. Uh, <laughs> the problem is, once you appear on a show like this and you get on the internet and something bad happens to you, it sort of vindicates everything you were saying. Of course. I they, mean, they, when, so if they do it, then we know they're guilty, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, I read I read enough of the book, and I called you once to clarify things because I just found it's just incredible. I know it's hard to Did believe. Did I not call you long distance? To, yes. To verify yes. and to see if I was understanding right. what I was, and right. I was understanding. Right, and they've used. It's a criminal racket. Tell right, them how and much they paid out in your debts. Oh. I forgot, yes. Out of my whole bankruptcy, I had $2,000 worth of debts. No credit cards, no car loans, no store accounts, no nothing. Just a dentist bill and a couple other small bills. Two grands of bills. Two grands, $1,996.24. They paid out $228.17 and stole everything I owned. After taking everything she owned. So you had a property worth $1.4 million. No, it was $1.4 plus one of my properties had never been appraised. That was approximately two seventy. And then they sold my one house that I, that I had uh, sold for three forty. They sold it for four hundred. So two seventy plus sixty thousand added to that. Well, I'd say roughly one point six million. Round no, numbers. no, no, not one point six. About one point eight. <laughs> I was trying to be. <laughs> no, you're not trying to be, be conservative. No, 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 conservative. no, about one point eight, almost two million. Plus three businesses. Plus my three businesses and my soap company. They stole my antiques. I had a spa, my yeah, beautiful health spa. We can't, we can't spa. go into the, the cost of the antiques because that's a variable. But let's right. say $1.8 million. In real estate only. Right, in real estate. That's hard, no hard equipment, assets. no inventory. So you owe $2,000. Right. To pay off out of one point eight, you got $200 back. No. Right? No, they paid out $228.17. To one of her creditors. To that one had, creditor. Yes, that had already been. And you got zero had, back. That had already been paid once. He so was I'm an attorney. Pay. <laughs> well, he was an attorney. Well, then you're supposed to pay him two or three times. Yeah, they got to get paid more than once or they can't make it. <laughs> That's right. I mean, these people can't steal efficiently. Right. So you've got to... we got to give them lessons on how to steal. <laughs> well, with that, before we go to the second time they try to murder you, I want you people, we want to go back to the raging grannies. I mean, if this granny doesn't have a reason to be outraged and you're not outraged, then you're brain dead. And I know most of you are watching, you're watching because you're not brain dead. And you're wondering what we can do. And I always say, we have to go to our city council, you have to go to your supervisor and demand they put an agenda item on to double or triple representation locally. And then we go to our state assembly and say, we want 20,000 people to be represented by one assemblyman. We go to Congress and say, go look at the Constitution, 30,000 per one which means Lois Cap, Elton Gallegly, who are representing, like all other congressmen, 720,000 people they can't talk to, have to have smaller districts, which means a larger Congress. When we get to that magic number of 30,000 to one for House reps, you and me will have voices, people that we can walk down the street and have a cup of coffee with and talk to, not these people that hide from us. Like Abel Maldonado did, he moved three okay. miles out of town to avoid having any contact after he became a uh, state senator. We'll go to the Raging Grannies, and then we'll listen to Mary and explain how they tried to kill her the second time. Morning.